This black woman only drank a cup of coffee. But a group of white men stared at her. On the next day, there was another glass on the table. And there was also a line of words, cup for black people, when she wanted to go to the toilet. However, her superior said, sorry, there is no toilet here for you. It turned out that the toilet in the building was only for white people. So she just had to endure and run away. And she went to the black man's office to go to the toilet. She was Catherine. Because she had superhuman calculation ability. She had just been assigned to the aerospace department. And she was in charge of calculating the spacecraft's orbit. They were working on a space travel plan. However, her colleagues in this place were all white people. And they treated her coldly. For example, when giving a part of a document to her. A colleague intentionally blacked out important data. He said it was for security. But maybe this security was only for black people. Despite facing such discrimination, Catherine was still very hardworking and serious in her work. However, spacecraft orbital data was always changing. She needed to constantly update the data. To save time, even when going to the toilet, she had to run. She even brought documents to the toilet to study. In order to see the data that was blacked out, she had to look under the light to see clearly. Catherine believed this would be more difficult. She gave the calculated data to her superiors. But he threw it in the trash. Because after seven hours, this data was out of date. To avoid wasting time going to the toilet, she didn't drink water. Even when she was sick, she also tried to endure. But no matter how hard she tried, everyone here still discriminated against her. It took Catherine three hours to calculate the result. Then, because she couldn't stand it anymore, she rushed to the toilet. When she returned, there was a group of people standing around and discussing the data on the board. They were all amazed at her novel way of calculating. And this also got her boss's attention. He called Catherine to the office. Perhaps her boss would praise her calculation. However, once again, he caused her to suffer extreme injustice. Her superior told her, all important data is highlighted in black. And this is the most security data, so you can't have. Therefore there is only one possibility. You are a spy sent by the Soviet Union. Hearing that, Catherine was extremely shocked. She had to continuously work overtime, but she didn't get praise either. Yet she was accused of being a spy. Then, she quickly explained. Just put the document under the light, I can see the hidden data. After listening, the boss still seemed suspicious of her. After that, he took the document and put it under the light. Indeed, under the lights, the data was very clear. The boss realized that he had wrongly blamed her, so he asked her name. Being noticed by her boss, she was very happy thought that from now on, she would no longer be discriminated against. However, low-class people like her were always downtrodden. One day, because she went to the toilet, she had to walk in the rain. As a result, her whole body was wet. She wanted to use water to wash her hands, but there was no water. She wanted to use tissue paper to wipe the rain. However, in black toilets, tissues weren't also available. But she ignored it, and quickly took the document to the workplace. She had to save time as much as possible. However, when returning to the office, she was still late. The boss was very angry and asked her. After all, what are you doing? Why can't I find you every day? She explained that she had gone to the toilet. Hearing that, the boss got angry. Every day we have to study the orbit of the spacecraft. The time must be accurate to the minute and the second. However, you spend 40 minutes on the toilet. Facing the misunderstanding of her superior, Catherine finally couldn't stand it anymore. Because there's no toilet here, she said. There are no toilets for black people here. So I have to walk 1000 meters to get to the west building. Do you understand? Every day, I have to work like a dog. I work from morning to night, I can't even drink coffee in the office. After that, the boss told everyone to come in front of the toilet. And told the black employee to stand on one side. The white employee to stand on the other side. After that, he took a stick and broke the women's toilet board by himself. After he broke it, he held a whiteboard dedicated to white people and told everyone that there was no distinction between high and low status there. The toilet is for everyone. At NASA, the color of urine is all the same. After this, Catherine didn't need to walk one kilometer just to go to the toilet. She could also enjoy coffee at the company. The day to carry out the space travel plan was also coming. Therefore, everyone at NASA had to work very hard. And Catherine didn't have to worry about other things anymore. She was able to focus on her work better. Figures that others couldn't calculate. However, she quickly calculated the result. Because of the excellent work ability, she had gradually gained more attention from her colleagues. She even tried typing her name into the reports. That used to only have the names of her superiors. However, some notions that discriminated against black people still existed. After her superior found out, he returned the report to her. After all, there was still discrimination against black people. 
For white people, they thought it was good to give her a job, so she didn't need to be rewarded. After several months of efforts, NASA had finally launched its first spacecraft. After the spacecraft flew into the sky, everyone felt relieved. The media was also constantly reporting on this, everyone was very happy. However, only NASA staff weren't in the mood to laugh, because now to get the astronauts out, they had to accurately calculate the landing position. Only when the astronauts landed safely, they considered it a success. Therefore, they met all day to study the plan. However, this conference could only be attended by senior staff, so Catherine never had a chance. However, she was in charge of calculating the figures. If she couldn't attend the conference, these figures wouldn't be valid. Therefore, she decided to go see her superior. Why can't she join, the boss asked the subordinate staff. She doesn't have an access card, said the employee. If the instant data isn't available, we have to recalculate it from the beginning. I have to listen to ensure the timely calculation of the figures Catherine said. Don't go in there talking nonsense her superior said. After entering the meeting room, they started discussing the data. For a person in charge of NASA, her boss was under pressure from his superiors. When he was asked when they would be able to calculate the exact landing position, he couldn't say anything. Therefore, he gave the chalk to Catherine. After that, Catherine wrote down a sequence of numbers in turn. And in less than five minutes, she calculated the exact landing position. This made everyone very surprised. Even the astronaut complimented her. I like the way she calculates. But not long after that, Catherine changed her job position. It turned out that NASA imported a new computer. This huge computer could calculate several tens of thousands of numbers in just one second. Because of its existence, Catherine's position also became meaningless. She had to go back to the workplace for black people. Although she didn't have the pressure of work, she couldn't be happy anymore. The day to launch the spacecraft had also come. Everyone was ready and looked forward to this solemn event. But at this time, the boss found that the position given by the computer was wrong. At such an important time, there was suddenly an error appearing, which made the boss very impatient. He hurriedly called the astronaut to explain the situation. When just hearing that, the astronaut was extremely angry. Are you making fun of my life? Quickly call the black girl to recalculate. If she can calculate it exactly, I'll go up there. If not, I won't definitely depart. Meanwhile America wanted to launch a spacecraft into space. But before launch, the astronaut said he didn't fly anymore. It turned out that the orbital position had an error. The astronaut said the figures calculated by the machine weren't correct. So he asked for manual calculation. And the person he trusted was the black girl named Catherine. Because Catherine only used five minutes to calculate the exact location during the last meeting. This made him have a very deep impression of her. However, he didn't know computers had replaced manual calculation. So Catherine was sent to the workplace for black people to work. After that, the boss immediately asked the assistant to find Catherine. The assistant hurriedly went to find. He finally found her in the workplace for black people. After receiving the documents, Catherine didn't dare to waste time. She started to calculate. The astronaut was still waiting for her data. Time gradually passed, she finally completed the calculation. After that, she quickly ran away to bring the documents back to headquarters. But when she came to the office door, the colleague only took documents from her and wouldn't let her in. She also knew this was a high-class office. So the black people weren't allowed in. She sadly prepared to leave. At this time, the office door was opened. It turned out that the boss was calling her inside and even gave her an entrance card. After entering the office, seeing everything unfold in front of the eyes, Catherine felt extremely proud. This was the first plan to send humans to space in history. She calculated the spacecraft's landing location. After the astronaut received notifications, he immediately decided to return to the spaceship to depart. The first was to warm up, then fly straight to the sky, and every stage was very smooth. After flying around the Earth three times, he successfully returned to the ground according to the position that Catherine calculated. Everyone was so happy. Only Catherine silently prepared to leave. At this time, the boss called her over. Well done, he said. You too, boss, she said. Since then, Catherine became the representative of the black people. They broke all racism. Relying on education and reliable morals, they overcame arrogance and prejudice. Her best friend named Mary became NASA's first female engineer. Her best friend named Anna became the first manager in NASA, who is not of American origin. As for Catherine, she returned to NASA headquarters and continued to study the Apollo program.